YouTubers, how's it going? If you don't know me, I'm Ronnie. I'm a commercially qualified pilot. I've had an IT business for 20 years now. I'm a gamer, a simmer, and a complete geek. Let's get straight to the video. Okay, so here we've got the Samsung One Box. Look at this, the One Connect. It's on quite a lot of new models now. Everything connects through this one cable, and then you have a plethora of other connections on the back and on the side and quite often these will give you the message that it's overheating so I'm going to show you what this simple fix is this this one at the moment is giving off that message all you're going to need for this is a simple Phillips screwdriver on the back there are six screws you just need to take those out that's all six screws taken up and then it comes away from this front edge because we have to remove three through the back of the panel so fingers around the front just gently pull that forward you can see there it starts to come forward and then just lift that lid out that way and put that to the side so on this panel here, we want to disconnect the fan. Just gently pull that forward. And then this circuit board will come away from the front edge. It may be clipped in on this one. I think it's at the sides here. There we go, it's at the sides. Just gently pull up while just releasing any pressure on the sides. There we go. And what it's doing on this end as well is it's pulling the audio connector through the hole so you'll need to pull this piece away so that should all be forward gently there we go so this is actually quite clean what I suggest is cleaning away any debris in this area so we're going to do that simple method. That's a circuit board clean. Put that to the side. Look at the fan area. The fan's held in by two screws. Just pop those out. This is actually quite a clean, clean looking unit. Normally you'll find lots of debris, which you need to get rid of. Um, it doesn't take much for the fan to come The fan's supposed to run at 2000 RPM, and it's only running at 1900. And the TV will complain. So you can see it's actually quite clean inside, but I'm going to clean it. Just make sure there's no debris inside there. 
Also check as well that all the fins are all straight. None of them are broken off or bent. You know, sometimes you can get debris in there that builds up and clogs the fan. Okay, so there's another stage to this um, that you can try. Uh, after cleaning the fan itself, you can undo the clips that hold the metal frame of the fan. Which we just flip them up ever so slightly. I did this by just prising them up, slide them through. You don't want to prise them up too far because they still have to come through these two little gates. You literally just prise each of the legs off. There's four of those in this fan. And that will allow you then to just slide this metal cover off. Now that's fiddly. Just be careful with that part. Um, and the fan itself, just gently try and get three or four fingers or finger nails around the fan and just lift it gently off its bearings. So what you'll find is this will be quite dusty. So just try and clean it and see if anything comes off. Do that with a cotton bud. Yeah, so it is, so dust does get into there. That's going to affect how this fan runs. So what we'll do is we'll clean that out and just get rid of any dust or debris in there. Yeah, so that's quite mucky. The other place is there, but be careful not to leave any dust on there. That will cause more problems. Just get the inside of this case and clean some. This particular unit wasn't dusty when I cleaned it. Well, not fluffy, it was just more very fine dust. And that's really the sort of thing that's going to get inside there. So, what I am going to do is I've got the machine oil. This is actually shaving oil, it's really fine. Um, I picked this up on eBay years ago. This is great stuff from running out of stuff. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this to a cotton bud rather than to the fan itself um, just to get around the bearing. one or two drops on there and then I'm going to run that down the insides of this rather than get it all over the um, fan itself I'm just going to clean that up there and then I am going to just put a drop onto the spindle and just pop that back into its hole should run now a lot smoother. I think what the problem was on this unit was it wasn't running at full speed. So the, the, the fan sensor was kicking off saying there's, there's something wrong there. I might actually just put a drop more oil on there and then wipe it off. Um, it's one of the things you've got to be careful of keep taking this unit apart is um, damaging any of the sensors any of the capacitors, you can sort of see the indents here made by some of the comp um, components on the motherboard um, and if obviously you're taking this off putting it back on again you could damage them so yeah this is one job we do once and then that's it so drop this back together yeah it's really good so yeah and then Straighten the legs up and slide the cover back on. And then that should be a light go. That should be the first and last time in, in its life this needs to be. Um, I think it's a four year old, five years old. So you wouldn't really expect me to do this twice in its life. Cool. Slide those back in there, they should lock as they go through. Yep. Them all back down, make sure they don't come loose. One, two, three, four. I don't know that's that in itself. Um, and then that that way. Two screws back. Just, just 
slightly tight but not over tight. So the circuit board goes, it goes in and then forward. What we've also got to do is make sure that this blue connection goes into the hole on the side. So that also needs to go in and across. So gently remember to bring the fan cable through as well. That means we'll come better than that. So, so, so it's, it's down and forward cord. Remembering then on this side is to let the blue connection up into its little hole. That should look like that. Perfect. And just try and get the cable sat away from the casing as well. Unlike what I've just done. Top panel has these three legs that want to go into this gap here. So put that in first, put the top edge in first and then it sit down. It shouldn't need force in there and it should just sit down and then sit screws back in. And then we're done. Um, one thing I did when I placed this um, unit, I've got two of these TVs. So one of them I have with the fan at the top of the box, and the box is literally on its end. So it's stood up like a tower. That unit keeps clean, keeps cool, never have any problems with it. This other unit that I've got now lies flat, it's near the carpet. So I think that's the problem. I think it's sucking through a bit of dust. Also, the heat's not probably transferring as well as the other one that stood up as a tower. So. Um, the way you place this is probably quite important. Um, a behind TV as well, you've got loads of plugs. You're going to sit this on top of things and it's sat on top of something else that's warm. You really got to think about how, how you keep these items cool. Um, I mean, in the UK it's not too bad, but in some countries these fans will be on all the time. Um, I've seen other videos of these in India um, where they're just the manky after six months, the TVs themselves as well, sucking a lot of dust on some models, and they're just black. Like, so, let's get the job done. I'm going to test it now and just make sure it all works. So, you now have the TV connected. No error messages on the screen. I think there may have been a system message in there as well, that's gone. That's fine. 